Hello, hello, thank you for joining me. So we are picking up this video exactly where the last one ended. Only it's going to end differently this time because this thing is almost dead. Get a little bit better position in this time. So, let's see what happens. Death cannot take me. I am its master. Mm -hmm. My lord, hear me. Nothing. I am forsaken. You. You have no idea what you've done. Uh, Isabel. Toward our fates, unleashed. <sighs> Though you have great crimes against my person for which to answer, strange ally. Do what you must, then we fly this foul place. The chosen of Merkel is dead. Permanently, this. Ketherick's Netherstone, it's in his armor. Take it. In death, the body is cooling, but energy radiates from the stone. Truly. And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an Elder Brain, to subdue it, our enemies are formidable. The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With the brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. One of them I know, Lord Enver Gortash. An arms dealer and a slaver. A worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, 
It is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the chosen of the dead three. Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a Chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy, but working together and controlling an Elder Brain, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. We prepare for the fight of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The Army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an Elder Brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into Mind Flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the Brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. as ever. All right, we are about to be on our way to Baldur's Gate. That is Act Three.
been thinking on all you saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? I'd never have protected a Bayonite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him. can't get away with what he's done to me, to us. He won't get away with it. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, Father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. Yes, but first, a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? As would I, and more. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. The Cult of the Dragon, a fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and intend to summon her to Faerun. A ten day after father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the Queen of Chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. In the looming shadow of the mount, Five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it, she whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. She never stops. Does she? Not for a second. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. 
Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. It is the one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her. I don't know that it was brave, I just know that it was right. I understand. But they've seen that plenty of time. The shadows yet fester. The dead three united under cover of darkness. The balance shifts. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? No, nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. All right, all right. Had to pause for a couple of moments there, so we're going to have to dive back into this conversation because apparently my key for pausing the video ends the conversation. But we have a lot of people to talk to. A lot just happened. Fate spins along as it should. Hast thou need of my services? Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The plains thus quake, and the gods shudder. No. Great. Thanks, pal. Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. Okay, he doesn't have a ton more to say. Let's talk to Jahara. 
Our enemies spread like rub rot. Treat one patch, and two more bloom in its place. An elder brain bound by lost Netherese magic with servants of the dead three holding the chain. <laughs> Reminds me of old times. Aren't you? When we met, I was licking my wounds. An old bear with her leg caught in the hunter's snare. Now I've slipped free of the trap and rediscovered my claws. It's time for me to hunt my prey. You have a nether stone, and you're on the scent of two more. These chosen have reason to fear you, and I would like to be at your side when you confront them. Glad to be there. Falling foul of Ketherick convinced me that my grand adventures were behind me. That even if I survived, I should hang up my blades. But you convinced me otherwise. We ventured into darkness together. Now we've come out the other side. I'd say I'm feeling a little refreshed. When we reach Baldur's Gate, there will be even darker paths to tread. I will follow you wherever they lead. How does it compare to a shadow cursed inn? With the Absolute's army gone, the Risen Road should be clear. We can follow it all the way to Baldur's Gate. There's a Harper's safe house in Worms Crossing. Dentalan's Dancing Axe. We do well to check in with them before entering the city proper. Beyond that, our course is yours to set. I can recall how to take orders, as well as give them. Well, I certainly hope so. Alright, so that's another party member down. Happy to have that. I could perform for the kids, but they've seen that plenty of times. You're here. Good. That's good. Me? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just worried about the kids. Maul is still missing, and they haven't taken it too well. I've been trying to cheer them up. We're writing a song together. But I think they're just humoring me. <laughs> Maybe. I'd love to put on a show just for them. It's boring if I'm the only one playing. I need another bard. Maybe I'll find one in the city. Until then, the kids and I shall work on our masterpiece. Maybe I should ask the grown ups who's look for Mole again. Yeah, he's not here. They definitely took him with. Or her. I don't remember if Mole was a boy or a girl. But yeah, actually, in a different. I don't even think I had a video of it, but I went through the prisons and. They're not there. Aelin! Isabel! My love! You were dead! I saw your body! I'm here, and, and so are you, and my father, he, he can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me, that somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all, nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. 
His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Ah, oh, there you are. This is Aelin. Aelin, this is... We have met. The instigator of my despair. And then, my elation. We must watch this one closely, Isabel. Their motivations are suspect. Aye. Suspect indeed. Hmm. Sounds like we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later. My forgiveness will be the same. I'd be a fool to turn down a powerful ally. Especially one who has earned the trust of fair Isabel. But Dame Aelin's life is never ending. And she does not forget. Now, I believe Isabel asked a question of you. We will meet you in your camp. Is it agreed? We look forward to it. Now, you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. Nice. You prevailed, my friend. Now your path takes you to Baldur's Gate. But I cannot join you. Out there, the curse still thrives. I failed this place. Now I must remain behind and stand watch over it. This place needs me. I wish it were different. I truly do. As long as the curse remains, so must I. So, you did it. Cleared the tower, killed the villain. Everything you said you'd do. Unfortunately for evil, it has you to worry about. Look after the city. It's an awful place. But it's home. Wolbrin made his life there. For his sake, if nothing else, I'd like to see it survive. Um, I... I I'll, I'll say my goodbyes now. You were... Uh, that is... It, it was... So long. A fellow knows when it's time to go his own way. We've had an interesting run of it, but it's time I went my way back home. I tell you to write, but I never check the post. Farewell. And good luck. I like that guy. I should contact Wolverine's family. Though they won't relish hearing from
We leave the heart of the Absolute alive. Thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. And if they died, would their deaths not count? But they need not die, for they would have you. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. Jahira's wisdom will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. The road to Baldur's Gate is west of the town. If we hurry, We'll arrive before the Absolute's forces. Ketherick may be gone, but the shadows remain. On our guard. I am going to try and find Zevlor and lift the curse if I can. I don't want to lose Halson. That would suck. What is even left in the mausoleum except that damn demon? It is for that quest here. Nah, nah, not doing that one. And it's not telling me where Zevlor is at, so shit.
worth the cost. but to keep going. All right, clearly there's going to be more fighting in there. We have no more short rests left, so I'm going to do a long rest I'm before done. we dive in. I can't wait to sleep. Literally, yes, yes it, indeed, 100%. Cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. Fucking rusty needle. I saw you. I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. Volo carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I... The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. Then, reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now, don't move. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then, tap, tap, stab. Do you feel that? Ha! I think 
think we have to blight her on the run. <sighs> I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just a little further. Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Threat. He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. Please, try not to overexert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Perhaps there is something more I can do. Take this, a far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta. He literally just runs away, son of a bitch. I wish I had that scene visibility thing before too. God damn. There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Moon Maiden, I ask you to cleanse the wickedness in the heart of the Slayer of Ketheric Thorm. Forgive them the sin of sending Dame Aelin into his foul clutches. Yes. My mother proclaims you cleansed. Our allegiances aligned once more. By her word, let it be so. You have recovered your soul. ...in the taking of Ketherick's foul life. We are a powerful party indeed. Faerun itself trembles at our touch. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, her glory? There can be no doubt. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. Why, she already has. She has brought her sword to your side, Dame Aelin. So mighty are her wonders, her great wisdom. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. <sighs> Ketherick Thorn, father of my one and only love, enslaver of Dame Aelin. <sighs> Ketherick Thorn never did trust me, even when he worshipped the Moon Maiden. He was threatened by my love for Isabel, by her love for me. When she died, curse the day, the hour. We each of us mourned bitterly, but Ketherick's pain could be touched by no aid, no boundary. He turned to wretched Shah, the Lady of Loss, for relief, and she whispered into his ear, poisoning his mind. He and his loathsome advisor, Balthazar, lured me into the Shadowfell, claimed they'd found someone in need of my aid. There, they trapped me in their infernal cage. I was killed, murdered, made dead over and over and over by justicias of every make and kind. I was reborn, for it is my nature. 
and Ketherick fed upon my immortality all the while. But lo, the brute is dead, and we, we live! Stab. I don't see Jahara. or fairy or whatever she was out of the moon lantern why did that just happen that you know you're about to let me out of this thing. Finally! Been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Sure I can, but will I? Yeah, sure, why not? Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the Shadow Curse. What more could a dingus want? You're welcome. already haven't you move on with your life damn all right
It's locked. I should investigate further. It's locked. I should investigate further. Strange. The dust on the leftmost door has been wiped clean. over there. To Baldur's Gate.
one true way. Well, shit, I don't have a teleportation spell or anything like that, so he's going to have to wait. It shows up with him, okay. There. Still on my feet. Swift and lethal.
That was pretty badass. way let's see
battle have to do? Like it's will be done. Get Ali. Heading out. Still alive. Still All right. Progress. Well, that is probably as decent of a place to end this before we get to Baldur's Gate, just before we get to Baldur's Gate, because I'm trying to end this Shadow Curse and maybe find Zevlor. And I had to end the day in order to get all of our spells and stuff back anyway. Plus, my character was kind of stuck there. So if you watch this one, I appreciate it. We did some big stuff, killed Kethric Thorn, killed a god, and got a couple of more party members. So good stuff. So thanks as always. See you on the next one.